Email. I would like to teach you a bit about email, just an intro. There's going to be another video that's longer that's going to tell you more about email, but this one is just about the basics. Let's dig in. You should have a bookmark that will take you to Gmail. It might say something like email or BCA email, or it might even say inbox if we never renamed it to something better, but go ahead and click on it. And from there, it should take you to email. Now, when you want to compose an email, to compose means to create, like an artist composes music, you got to click on compose. Don't come over and ask me how to start without clicking on compose. Click on compose. So we click on compose. Now, email enables you to communicate with people in an email format, electronic format. And the people you're most likely going to communicate at BCA are perhaps your teachers or perhaps your fellow students. Now, you can also email your parents, your grandparents, your brother, your sister, even your cousin, Philbert, if you have a cousin named Philbert, which is a weird name. But who am I? So let's start. I want to give you some tips first on how to email a teacher. The format of a teacher's email address is the first initial of their first name, like M for Molly, and then their entire last name, Galette, at bcaroyals.com. Now, the first part is someone's name, I guess you could say, their email name, and the second part is something called domain, at bcaroyals.com. That's why you see everyone at BCA to have the at bcaroyals.com because they're all at BCA. So, at bcarails.com, and you click enter or something like that. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is you are going to want to put a subject. The subject is kind of what the entire email is about. Need to borrow a pickle. I need to borrow a pickle, and so I'm going to reach out to Molly to see if I can. Mrs. Galette, to you to see if I could borrow a pickle. Mrs. Galette. Now we're in the body of the email. I've clicked down here, now we're in the body of the email, and I'm gonna kick it off. Mrs. Galette, I need to borrow a pickle. Please get on your bicycle. You can see I'm making a lot of mistakes. That's okay, I just hit backspace. And bring me a pickle. Sincerely. Your father-in-law, Mr. Collette. And that's all there is to it. And you click send. Now, let me show you how to compose an email. Don't forget to click on compose to a student. Now, students, your email addresses look like your first name, dot, last name, at bcaroyals.com. Email address format should be very familiar to you because it's what you use to log into Google. So let's pretend like there's someone whose name is Joe. Hmm, Joe Dokes. His email address would be Joe Dokes at bcaroyals.com. And then I'd hit tab where I'd click down here the subject and I would say pickle feast. So now I've given it a subject. The subject of this email is all about a pickle feast. Now I'm down here, I've clicked down here. Hey Joe, come to my house. Mrs. Galette is bringing a pickle. Let's share the pickle. Pickle feast. Yours truly, Mr. Galette. So there we go. That is how you send email. Now, if you want to know more about sending email, like how to email multiple people at the same time, or how to um, blind carbon copy, carbon copy, it does some spell check stuff, feel free to look at the other video. Thank you for your time.